the world. Now, it's time for a bit of culture, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, I sit in comfortably, Ian Black, who you can follow on Twitter uh, as What's Left Behind. Now, summer to this. So, here we go. This is the poetry. I usually get a little t- tingle of nerves for reading this out, because I... I'm going to stop. You know what? I'm going to have a, bit, a little bit more self-confidence this time. Stop, uh, you know, stop talking myself down. I can read poetry just as good as anyone else. <clears throat> right, so here we go. This is a poem from Ian Black. It's called To Find You in the Rain. <clears throat> right, it's a bit tense, though, isn't it? I do get a little bit tense, because I think people think I'm an idiot when I read this out. I mean, I know a lot of you enjoy it, but I just feel like... You know, I feel like a... I feel like you think it doesn't sound good in his voice. Sort of, it doesn't sound right. Okay, so I'm going to start. I'm actually blushing a bit. This is. I don't know what's wrong with me. Right, here we go. I can read poetry. I eat meat. Here we go. To find you in the rain. Oh, I don't know why I'm getting these nerves. Right, forget it. I'm just getting on your nerves now, aren't I? Here we go. To find you in the rain. <clears throat> I looked for you in empty glasses and in the spider's web. I sought your face among the masses, in both the living and the dead. I chase you down across the prairie and through the barren land. I found reflections in the air and grass but naught but sand. I caught my lover's dying breath and let it slip away. I took the heart I left her with and went along my way. I lay for you a bed of roses and let it go to waste. I tamed alone the sunset glow and still sought your embrace. I begged the dawn and bitter midnight all along in vain. I crossed the world and seven seas to find you in the rain. Oh, <clears throat> well, there you are, Ian Black, who is a very talented poet. It should be a published poet. Ian, I hope you do get this stuff published, because I think it's very good. Uh, I, I know I'm no expert on poetry. I know um, my opinions are coverage, because I, I, sh- I should read more. I say, uh, we all should, really. We should all take a bit of time to appreciate the finer things in life, and particularly new talent. Now, it's very easy for new bands and new artists and new singers and new comedians to get noticed, but it probably is a lot harder for poetry. So I'm going to make this uh, a natural home for poetry. This show from now on is going to be the poet's friend. If you want to write poetry, this has inspired you to start writing. Or if you are like Ian, a budding poet, uh, a, a, to any degree, then you've got a friend here. We're not going to mock it. We're not going to take the mic. I don't want you to feel scared about submitting it. We will reflect it faithfully. We will promote it in a heartfelt manner, because it's important to have a bit of culture, it's important to encourage talent, and where else do you hear poetry on the radio, apart from, you know, those poetry shows?